In this problem, we're told how long will it take a 1,750 watt motor to lift a 335 kilogram piano to a six story window 16 meters above. So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know. Power is equal to work over time. So this is gonna be the formula that we use to solve this. And so keep in mind what they're asking for. What we're trying to do is solve for the time. So what we need to do is get this in terms of T. And we can do that just by multiplying both sides by T, right? We'll get T, P, and then equals W, and then divide both sides by P. And so you're just gonna get that the time is gonna be equal to the work over the power. And so keep in mind what they give us here. Let's write down our given. So they're telling us that it's gonna, how long will it take a 1,750 watt motor? So when they talk about watts, that's describing power. So we know that P in this case is gonna be 1,750 watts, right? So that's the power. And then we know the mass of our object, right? So the mass is 335 kilograms. And they tell us that we're gonna be moving it to a six story window 16 meters above, right? So the distance that it's gonna be moving is 16 meters, right? We're just moving it up 16 meters. So how do we solve this? So we know the power, right? So we know the power is gonna be 1,750 watts, right? But we need to solve for the work. So how do we find that? So the formula for work is equal to force times distance. So let's think about this. What is the force that's gonna be acting on our piano? right? If we're moving it upwards, the only force that's going to be acting on our piano, right, is just going to be the force uh, due to gravity, which is just mg. This is going to be the only force acting on it if we don't take into account other forces like air resistance and stuff. But essentially, it's just going to be mg. And so the force in this case is mg. So work is going to be equal to mg times the distance. And what's the distance going to be? We're going to be moving it up 16 meters, right? We start here, we move it up to the six story window, 16 meters above. So the distance is 16 meters. So it's mg times 16. So if we just plug in the things, right, we plug in our variables, mass is 335, g is gonna be 9.8, and then this was the distance, right, which is 16. So we can just plug it in here. So the work, right, because we need work over the power. So 335, multiply that by 9.8, and then multiply that by 16. So you do 335 times 9.8 times 16 divided by 1,750, and so let me go ahead and plug this in my calculator. So 335 times 9.8 times 16 divided by 1,750. So if you go ahead and do this, you're gonna get that T is equal to 30.016. So I'm just gonna go ahead and round it to the whole number, so 30. And so when you do this, uh, since we're using this is in meters per second, right? So we know our time unit's gonna be in seconds. So it's gonna be 30 seconds. So it's about 30 seconds. That's gonna be the amount of time this takes. So 30 seconds is your answer. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.